What's going on? My name is Mike Gambino. This is another episode of Gambino's Cluttered Corner. That is Remington. He's being a little nosy. But I'm here to bring you an incident that just happened to me. So, this past Friday, I was on eBay. I was like, you know what? Let me take a look. I kind of want to get a pair of gray, uh, gray toe 13s. Found the pair. Guy was offering them for 160 ish. I was like, all right, or best offer. So I'm like, I throw him an offer. I lowballed him. 95 bucks. Bam. Instant, no back and forth. First light, what? All right, this is a little skeptical. But I went through with it anyway. Sent him the money. Got the pair in two days. I got, yeah, I paid for it Friday. I got them today, Sunday. Opened them up. Heart was racing. I'm like, okay, wow. You know, they look pretty good. No. Oh. They look, from the distance, pretty good. The pictures I saw online, pretty freaking good. But if you're me and you know 13s, you know, first at $95 instant ding was the first red light. So I've got a pair of my breads. Now I know the different pair, so on and so forth. But I start comparing them. So for all you out there who don't know how to spot a fake, this is how you spot a fake with the bread, I mean, the gray toe 13s. So here we go. One, always check the hologram. See, at first, saw them and I was like, oh, all right, it looks like a pretty legit hologram. But then when you really look at it, it looks like shit. This jump man, it just looks like it looks like a, mi a mishmash of the Jumpman and the 23. But, compared to my 13s, and it was a legit hologram. You saw the 23 and you saw the Jumpman. You saw the 23, you saw the Jumpman. This, you just see a mishmash of a 23 and a Jumpman. That's number one. Number two, up front, all 13s say Jordan. All I repeat, all 13s say Jordan. But when you flip the front, it should say 13, X11, one, 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 to, uh, to show you that they're the 13th. So I looked, and bam, they do not have it on either shoe. So I was like, whoa, all right, so that's strike two. But then I'm looking, I'm like, stitching is not that bad, because I was comparing them to my, thir to my breads, and I'm like, all right, pretty good. I'm like, you know what, but still. So I went to the bubble on the bottom. All 13s have bubbles on the bottom, and they're all, you could tell, you could spot a fake if you look at it. Bam. It's basically a fucking sticker on the bottom. From a distance in the pictures the guy was showing me, they look legit. So I was like, all right, that's strike three. I'm gonna keep going though. So I hit the YouTube, and I kept looking for Great Toe 13, how to spot a fake. And then I realized, this has got suede up top and on the bottom. The 13s, the gray toe 13s that came out in 2014, do not have suede at the bottom. So that was the final straw. I'm like, no matter how good these look, I'm not putting my reputation on, I'm not putting my reputation on the line to wear a fucking Fugazi pair a fucking 13s. So what did I do? Went straight to eBay, put in a claim, got my money back in the matter of minutes. Instantly the guy sent me the friggin' what's it called and I'm shipping these pieces of shit back to him. Be careful out there. It's the last time, honestly I might as well just keep trying to get a pair of fucking through Nike.com or legit resellers. Be careful with eBay guys. Yet again, my name is Mike Gambino. Like it, share it, and subscribe. Add me on Instagram, official underscore Gambino. And of course, add me on the Twitterverse at the one Gambino. Yet again, Mike Gambino. This is Gambino's Cluttered Corner. How to spot a fake Grey Toe 13.